So this question is a diagram question. We see the two trapezoids listed here or drawn here. Um, the question says trapezoid A and trapezoid B shown are similar. Hopefully you remember that similarity between um, geometrical figures just means that each of the corresponding angles are congruent, right? So that also works for these right angles as well, or the angles on the right-hand side, I should say. Um, the next sentence says the length of each side of trapezoid A is eight times the length of the corresponding side of trapezoid B. So let's think about what that means, right? It literally means that every single side, right? In, in, in essence, it literally means a trapezoid A, so A is equal to eight times B in every way, right? It's eight times bigger than B. So the last sentence here says the area of trapezoid A is how many times as large as the area of trapezoid B. Now this is a little bit of a tricky question because you may know a formula for finding the area of the trapezoids, but we, would, we don't have any side actual side lengths, right? We don't know the height, which is a part of finding the the area of a trapezoid, right? We don't know this top length. We do know that, you know, for trapezoid A, it's eight times larger, but we don't know exactly what it is. We don't know the bottom here. So there are a couple ways to answer this question. The very first way and the easiest way really is based upon knowledge, which I don't love to always stick with. Um, I love to show strategies, but if you remember, or if you recall that the areas of similar shapes are always the square of the scale factor. Again, the area is the square of the scale factor, right? So the scale factor between these two trapezoids is eight to one, right? So that means the area should be 64 times, right? Eight squared is 64. So that means the answer here is choice D. Now, so if you know that, it really is a very quick answer. You find it in you know under 30 seconds and you're done. Now, another way to solve this, because we don't know the side lengths, is to use a strategy that I like to call plug in your own number. Right, so I could say, well, because you've told me that these sides are eight times bigger, and let's say I know that the area of a trapezoid is one half A plus B times H, where, of course, A and B represent these two sides, then I can say, well, I'm going to say, I'm going to say that in trapezoid B, this is, I don't know, five and this is 10. And because that's five and that's 10, that would make uh, trapezoid A, this, that would make this equal to 40, and that would make this equal to 80, right? Eight times larger. And then the height here, I'm going to say, again, I'm going to say this is 4, and therefore the height here will be um, 8 times larger, which makes it 32. So that tells me that the area for trapezoid B, right, so A, and I'll say little b for trapezoid B, will be 1 half 5 plus 10 times 4, which is 15, half of 15 is 7.5 times four, which is 30. So there's my area is 30. But the area for trapezoid A would be one half 40 plus 80 times 32. 40 plus 80 is 120. Half of 120 is 60, right? So I have to do 60 times 32. This is the non-calculator section, so I have to do the math by hand. So 60 times 32, two times zero, zero, two times six is 12. 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 6 is 18, add that together, I get 1920, and so I'm looking at 30 versus 1920, right, and then I'm just asking, well, is that is that 8 times larger? No, 30 times 8 is 240, so that's not 1920, so that's gone. Is that 16 times larger? Well, I'm not sure, right? Again, I don't have a calculator, so let's see, is 30 times 16, so that's 0, 6 times 3 is 18, 1 times 0, 0, 3, so I get 480. So that's not 1920, so that's out as well. Is it 32 times larger? So you see you see where I'm going with this. It, it does take more time. However, you can get the correct answer without knowing that knowledge that the area is the scale factor squared, right? So again, I could do the same thing with uh, the 64. So is it true that 30 times 64 is 1920. 
Uh, four times zero is zero, four times three is 12, six times zero is zero, six times three is 18, and there we have it, 1920, right? So we would have found that 30 times 32 is not 1920, and then we would find that 30 times 64 is 1920, and therefore that would confirm our correct answer. So those are two ways to answer it. I do suggest that you remember the knowledge. Try your best to like put that on a note card, put that in your notes, remember that. But if you can't remember it, right, realize that there is a path forward whenever you have a shape and you say, hey, they didn't tell me any of the, the values of the lengths here. It is completely okay for me to make them up, right? Maybe I could have chosen better numbers than this. Maybe I should have said, you know, smaller numbers to make the math a little bit easier. But it, it truly is your choice as long as you fit the fact that it did say that trapezoid A is eight times um, the length of trapezoid B, right? So we do have to fit our numbers to that information. So hopefully that makes sense. It's a long video, but there's two possibilities here. If you have any questions, make sure to throw them into the comment section.